Hello everybody, my name is Mark and welcome back to a video, the channel, I guess I should say, and we're going to show you how to unlock Pokemon Battle Revolution uh, for the Dolphin emulator for our UPA server. Uh, I'm just going to go right to the point. I basically did everything for you. All you're going to have to do is create a save file and update it in PKHex so you could have access to the boxes. So that's what I'm going to show you right now. In the link in the description, there will be a link to the discord which will have a link to what i'm about to show you i'm not going to paste it on my youtube channel because i don't want to have any copyright strike issues so once you get to the youtube i'm in the discord server under the important info tab you're going to download this link it's going to be a zip file i named it upa season 3 pokemon battle revolution you're going to open up and you're going to drag this to wherever you want this to be so i'm going to drag it to my desktop for now just for demonstrating purposes it's going to unzip and by the way, I did not invent any of this stuff. Uh, just all the videos I watched have been really, like, really long and uh, over-explaining. So I'm just going to make this as fast as possible for you guys. And everyone has all these links to download in the description. Mine is just one download. I will link their videos for reference. If you are confused or having trouble, maybe they could explain a little bit better. But regardless, once this is completed, we could close out of this zip file. Which will be right about... Now, bada boom, bada bing, boop, and I'm just going to delete the zip file because I no longer need it. I'm going to open this up. You're going to see Dolphin. You're going to open up Dolphin, and then you're going to open up Dolphin.exe. It'll be the application. Once that's opened up, you're going to have Dolphin here, and if it asks if you want to update Dolphin, you can, and uh, just click on Tools and make sure, uh, get that out of my way. What the heck? Uh, just make sure when you click tools, uh, load Wii system is there. If it's not, then let me know. We're going to have some problems. But for now, you're going to go config. Uh, you're going to enable cheats. And then you're going to go come down onto interface. And you're going to uncheck uh, use panic handlers. And then you're going to go advance and you're going to enable MMU. So you're going to do that. You're going to go to controllers. You're going to go to emulate the Wii Bluetooth adapter. And you're going to configure this to either your gamepad, your controller, or your mouse and keyboard. Once you are done with all of that shenanigans, you're going to see the game here. Now, I'm going to open up Discord. I'm going to pull up this code that I have. You're going to add this cheat to your Discord. I mean, <laughs> not to your Discord, I'm dumb. To your game, so you're going to right-click the game. You're going to go to Properties. You're going to go to action replay codes. You're going to add a new code and you're going to do no sprites. Uh, this is mainly for the server. You don't need to do this if you're playing for with friends, but we're removing the, uh, the team preview option. So we're going to paste the code. The code will be in the description below. Bada boom, bada bing. It could be checked. If you unchecked for now, we're just going to have it checked. Boom. We can close out of that. And now we're going to launch the game. So. I'm going to preface this right now. If you don't have any saves, you're going to have to play through the game a little bit. Which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to speed past this part. There is no Pokemon saved in the memory, which is completely fine. Uh, you just want to play through the entire tutorial, which is basically just a bunch of reading. So it's not too terrible, but you know, it's something you're going to have to get through. So you're going to choose Coliseum mode. And then it'll say uh, new game, load game, but since we don't have any save file, it'll be new game. Uh, do you save file one, please. Don't choose any other one. Uh, and right now it's going to ask you to name your file. You can name it whatever you want. For this purpose here, I'm going to name it UPA. And I'll show you how to change it later on. But there we go. We're going to confirm. Is UPA okay? Yes, it is. And now I'm probably just going to speed past this part, so. So once you get to this uh, part, you're going to need to click on three major ones. Storage, Battle Pass, Nintendo Wi-Fi Connection, and then Save. Uh, I'm going to talk through this one first, because once I click through all of these and the tutorial ends, the check storage should be disabled, and I'll show you how to enable that in this video as well. Just be a little patient so that could pop up. She's going to bow down to us, and as you can see, uh, we can't access this, but I'm going to show you how to later, so I'm going to fast forward through the rest of this.
So once you get to this part, you can click when Nintendo Wi-Fi Battle, just to confirm that your system is connected to the internet, which it should be because I gave you a patched uh, version of the emulator. So it's gonna log you into the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. It's gonna tell you to please wait. It's gonna ask you to allow something, most likely. Creating a save file. Bada boom, bada bing, your save file has been created. And now as you can see, you do a battle with someone, battle with a friend. If you exit out of this, and you go over on the, to friend roster, this is where you'll add your, you know, this is your friend code you give to people. And you can go to friend code entry, friend roster, and that's how you add your friends. So now the last one I'm going to do is I'm going to save. And she's gonna walk through this. I'm gonna fast forward it so you guys have to wait too damn long. All right, we're gonna save the game. And sorry if my voice is a bit raspy. I just got off work and I'm exhausted, but I need to get this done because I've been house sitting and I haven't had time. So once we're doing that, we can quit and then we can exit out of the emulator. Just like that. Bada boom, bada bing. The emulator is closed. If we right click the game and we go to open save, open we save folder, you're gonna see Genius PVR. You're gonna click on that and now from here this is how you're gonna pull the data to edit so you're going to click right next to genius pbr right to the right of it and it's going to highlight the entire thing you're going to control c you're going to copy it and then you're going to you can close out of this once you copy it you're going to open up this folder again and you're going to see pokemon genning tool this is going to have pkx i just you know and gave it to you guys just in case you don't have it uh you might have to Install, look at that, bada boom, bada bing. I'm just gonna download this now. It's on my other screen, it's right here. Uh, open it up, just to download it. It's just firmware for uh, Microsoft. It's gonna ask you to accept stuff. Because Microsoft loves having you install stuff. Shouldn't take that long though. Easy as one, two, three. Now I'm going to load this up again. And here we go, we're gonna go to file, we're gonna go to open. And this is here, but I was just showing you how to not get there. Like let's say you're on downloads or some weird stuff, uh, ignore all this weird stuff. <laughs> you're gonna click on this and you're just gonna paste that in. You're gonna enter and it's gonna take you to where I just was. I'm gonna click on it. Sorry for the cut, just confirming I was doing everything right. So once you have PK Hex open, you go click on this again and uh, right click on it and open up another PK Hex. And in your dolphin folder, you're going to see something called CRO.SAV. You're going to drag that into the other one. And this is just a Nintendo DS version of what I had, just to make this a bit easier. And all you're going to do is just drag and drop these bad boys on in here. Just like that. And just for the sake of things, just in case, uh, just throw Krogunk in there as well. And uh, once that's done, you can now close out of this one. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here to save, you're gonna export the save, and you're gonna save it and overwrite what you have here. After that, you're going to go on over to, uh, you're gonna go over to block data. And uh, this is actually where you could change your OT name. So I'm just gonna name it mental, but of course this isn't your battle name, so that's completely fine. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll on down to display SID, and you're gonna make these any five digit number so i'm gonna do like nine nine oh nine nine eight nine nine and then we could do this one oh i don't know why it changed six six three six five and then when you click out uh -oh. okay whatever <laughs> that's fine just type in make sure it's just five letters and then you can close out of this boop uh make sure upa is selected you have stuff in your party uh file Export save again, and we could close out of this. We could rehab Dolphin open, and now when we open this on up, I will show you that the boxes are allowed. And that basically just is the whole rundown of everything that we need to do now. We could play online, we could battle each other. The boxes are unlocked. Uh, what else do I have to say about that? Don't, I'm not quite sure, but um. Yeah, so TLDR, you download all this, you change, you allow the cheats, you change all the stuff in config, you open up PK hacks, two of them, you drag the crow into one, you drag the save in the other by right clicking the game. It's all fairly simple. Uh, it's super straightforward. So you click on here, now the storage is open. Uh, you can overwrite these mods. So I guess I'll show you how to do that real quick since we're here. So. 
I'm going to close out of here and I will cut to when I have a team ready to show. So here I have a very basic team that I just threw together. So I'm going to go back to the Pokemon, the Pokemon Genning tool, open up PK Hex. There we go. So we're going to have that to the side. We're going to go to file. We're going to open. Again, we're going to get to this destination and we're going to open this one up. And now uh, importing is super easy. So you have your Shodan team made it. You're going to import and export and you're just going to do one at a time. So you're going to copy that. You're going to go over to tools on PKX and, and it's going to ask you if you import the set. And then you're going to right click and set it. And that's basically it. It's super simple. So I'll do it a couple more times. Tools, Shodan, import set. And then you right click and set. You copy again. Tools, Shodan, import set. Yes. Set. All right, once you have these teams, don't worry about the triangles. It's going to say like, oh, this was obtained illegally. We're not playing on Nintendo servers, so you're not going to get banned. It's still going to work as long as you validate here. Oh, okay. Well, a good thing we, we saw that. So that's not compatible. Let's just choose facade for the point of this. All right, it's allowed. We're going to fix Crobat here. So we're doing everything the way it's supposed to be. Boom. And most likely we'll just allow stuff like that because... I mean, it should be allowed. Like, why can't it be compatible? But we're going to save. We're going to export it. We're not going to save. We're going to export. So export save, not save. Export save. We're going to overwrite the save. So let's launch this again. And once you're at this screen, you go over to Battle Pass. You're going to go to Custom Pass. And this is where you can make your own trainer. So select one. Uh, you could change this whenever you want. So I'm just going to choose this. Create a pet Custom Pass. Uh, choose a style for your character. Uh, I always play as female characters because I'm a weirdo, I guess. Uh, I always, you know, I'm a guy in real life, so might as well just... Whoa! So there we go. I named myself Mental. We're going to click Yes. New Star Mental! Yay! So now you're just going to click on these little circles. Boop! And you're going to add your Pokemon. One at a time, just like uh, the Switch does it. So we're going to set that. And again, you could have so many Pokemon in here, just like every other freaking game. I'm just trying to cause filler, but as you can see, I'm just setting them all. It's it's literally not rocket science. Uh, just make sure to save once you're done. I skipped my Scizor. Boom, boom. Crobat getting set. And then last but not least, Skarmory. So there you go. Uh, this is how you remove her air. So reset the battle pass. You could change stuff catchphrases, all that jazz, but um, yeah, we're going to close out of that. And again, once you make that pass, just make sure you save afterwards. And that's how you do everything. Everything should be set for you. Uh, I, was, I made videos like a 30 minute video, how to patch everything and download everything. But it's like, hey, if I just condense this all onto one thing, it'll be easier. So if you guys did enjoy, leave a like, uh, subscribe, comment, join the Discord server if you want to do Pokemon leagues and stuff. And yeah, I'll catch you later. Bye.